Hi, welcome to myprojectbazaar.com. This video will lead us to the demo of user-defined privacy grid system for continuous location-based services. Location-based services require users to continuously report their location to a potentially untrusted server to obtain services based on their location, which can expose them to privacy risks. Unfortunately, existing privacy preserving techniques for LBS have several limitations, such as requiring a fully trusted third party offering limited privacy guarantees and incurring high communication overhead. In this paper, we propose a user-defined privacy grid system called Dynamic Grid System. The first holistic system that fulfills your fulfills four essential requirements for privacy preserving snapshot and continuous LBS. The system only requires a semi-trusted third party responsible for carrying out simple matching operations correctly. This semi-trusted third party does not have any information about a user's location. Secure snapshot and continuous location privacy is guaranteed under our defined adversary models. The communication cost for the user does not depend on the user's desired privacy level. It only depends on the number of relevant points of interest in the vicinity of the user. Although we only focus on range and k nearest neighbor queries in this work, our system can be easily extended to support other spatial queries without changing the algorithms run by the semi-trusted third party and the database server provided the record search area of a spatial query can be abstracted into spatial regions. Experimental results show that our DGS is more efficient than the state-of-art privacy preserving technique for continuous LBS. First of all, the user have to enter into the system and then the user can enter the query. There are two types of queries the user can give. They are range queries and KNN queries. All type of queries are sent to the query server. It contains the location and then the place. Both the queries are transported to query server. These queries are encrypted and then it is transferred to the query server. The query server transfers the place to the service provider and then the service provider searches for that place query into their database and then provide the relevant data to the query server. The query server matches the encrypted cell that is the location. If a location is matched means then the places present in that location is transferred to the user. Then the user can decrypt the data because the data from the query server is in the form of encryption. So the user can decrypt the data at last and then the user can know about the relevant data to the query. Let us see the demo of the project. For that we have to run homepage.java. Right click the file and then select run file option. just click this image and then enter the username then select the type of data there are three type of data are present temples hotels and hospitals for that we have to select anyone and then the cities are also displayed here select any one of the city there are two types of user queries. They are range queries and K nearest neighbor queries. First of all, we have to select range queries and then click next. Then press get. 
here also click get this is the selected place and this is the location and click get key now the key for encrypt the place is displayed here and then the key for encrypt the location is also displayed here now the place is encrypted and then here the location is encrypted and we can combine the overall query then click next this is the encrypted query then separate place and then click separate location this is the encrypted place and this is the encrypted location then click next this is called as a query server then click get here the service provider can get the encrypted query service provider will decrypt the query and then search this is the contents that present in the service provider then click next click get it is the encrypted place and then click get it is the encrypted location now press encrypted place the encrypted places are displayed here and then the encrypted locations are displayed here then click next the query server receives the encrypted place and then the encrypted location and then the query server will decrypt the data that is provided by the user and then decrypt location from service provider and then click related places then the query server can get the related places that is related to the query given by the user then click next and then press relevant data these are the data relevant to the query sent by the user then click decrypt this is the decrypted data these data are needed for the user this is one type of running procedure and then in another type we can use the KNN for that we have to run once again run homepage.java here the user have to enter name and then place then select any one of the location then click KNN that is the K nearest neighbor query then enter the K value click next press get this is the place and this is the location these are the keys for the place and the location to be encrypted these are the encrypted contents click combine these queries are combined and then these are transferred to the query server query server can separate the place and the locations here click next then the service provider can get the data and then the service provider can decrypt it and then the service provider have to search the relevant content then press get encrypted place and then the encrypted location are displayed here click next these are transferred to the query server query server now have the encrypted place and the encrypted location and then the query server compare it with the user query then query server find out the relevant data to the query then click next now the relevant data and then click decrypt now there are only five hotels are displayed here because first of all we have in give the input as 5 the k value is 5 so now we can get the result as only 5 datas this is called as the k nearest neighbor this is the use of the k value